Hello everyone and welcome to another SQL query training session with Learn at NoStar. In today's video, we are going to write SQL queries to make monthly sales comparisons over three different scenarios. So the first scenario is when we are going to compare the current month sales with the previous month sales. In the second scenario, we are going to compare the current month sales with the same month in the previous year. And in the third scenario, we are going to compare the current month sales with the first month of the year. So let's get started. So I'm going to be working with the factory seller sales table. It is available as part of the Adventure Works Data Warehouse database for uh, SQL Server or from Microsoft. Um, I have filtered on two years of data, which is 2012 and 2013. So let's get started with the first scenario. So in the first scenario, we are going to find out the current month sales and compare it with the previous month. So if the current month is, let's say, August, we are going to compare it with July sales. Okay, so now if we take a look at the data in this table, we can see that the data is at a day level. So it is data for each date and there are multiple entries for each date. So the first step to find out the monthly data is to sum up the data based on the year and the month. So simple query, select sum of uh, sales amount okay, from the factory seller table. table. So let's just copy this portion over here. And then a group by on um, the year of what date and the month of what date. So now we are going to find out the monthly sales for the different years for each month. Okay, so this is a simple query. And if we execute this, we'll get the sales for each month of these uh, different years. So now our first scenario was to find out the sales for the current month. So let's say we are in the month of June uh, 2013. We want to compare it with the previous month. So the May data for 2013. So how can we get that? So the way we can get that is simply by using the Windows aggregate functions in SQL Server and the function that we have already seen in some other videos, that is the lag function. What the lag function would do is uh, bring up the data of the previous row. So let's write a query and see how it would work. So we are going to use the lag function again because we want the sum of sales amount for the previous month. So leg on this and whenever you use any Windows aggregate function, you have to define any partition by or order by clauses. So we are going to order by the month in this case. So first we have to consider the year so that we uh, make sure that we are considering the months in the same year. So year or the date and then month of order date that is what we are going to consider. So now if we run or execute this query, let's see what we get in the result. So if I execute this query, I have got the data and it has been now ordered by the months within that year. So you have got 2012, that is the first record. You don't have any data available before this. So that's why the value for the lag uh, summation is null. But if you go to the second record, you'll see that you have got the value from the previous row. So the previous row to the row which is February 2012 data is January 2012 data and you've got the sales amount for that. So now if I simply make um, or simply subtract the lag data from the current month's data, I should be able to get that month by month comparison. So it would be as simple as replacing it with a minus sign. So now if you run, you will get the difference for this month as compared to the previous month. Now, um, because we are saying that we are comparing it with the previous month, so, so if you go to the first month of the next year, let's say, does it compare with the 12th month of the previous year? 
so if you go to 2013 january it is compare it is going to compare it with uh, december 2012 okay so this is what is going to happen and this is how you can handle the scenario of comparing your monthly data with the previous month's data now our second scenario is that we want to compare the data with the same month from previous year so if it is january data over here i want to compare it with january from the previous month so in that case what we can do we are going to use the same query but we are going to pass some more arguments so the window aggregate function lag that we have used over here it takes one more argument which is called the offset offset defines by how many rows you want to go back so if you do not define any offset as we did in the first scenario by default it will take an offset of one which means it is going to fetch the data from the previous row but now we want to go back by 12 months because we are going to reference the same month from the previous year so the difference in months would be 12 months so now i'm going to provide that offset over here of 12. when i provide that offset so let's execute this query so obviously for 2012 because there is no previous year's data everything is going to be null but as soon as we enter 2013 there is data so january 2013 current data is 4 to whatever it is and the same month so previous year which makes it january 2012 is going to be 361190 which is what you have got over here again to get a difference you simply need to do a subtraction over here and you'll be able to get the difference okay so now moving on to the third scenario so the third scenario is comparing the data with the first month of the same year so if we are in 2013 let's say we and we are in the month of any month uh, february march or whatever we want to compare the data with the first month of that year which means january data so how when we, how can we get the first month of the same year so again we are going to use we are going to pass a value in the offset and in this case the value is going to be such which will take us to the first month of that year so the logic that we're going to use over here is that if the current month let's say is august we are in the august month if i want to go back to the first month i have to subtract seven from eight and then i'll get one which is going to be the first month similarly if i am let's say in october which is month number 10 i need to subtract 10 minus 1 which is i need to subtract 9 right so what i'm going to uh, define as the offset over here is month of or the date which is going to fetch you the current month and i'm going to subtract one from that uh, from the current month and then we are going to get the value so if you just execute this what you're going to get is a value which is the sales for the first month of that year so you can see that for all the months of 2012 what you have got the value that you have got is the sales value from january as soon as it becomes 2013 the value that you have got is the sales value from january of 20. 13. so this is how you can calculate the or compare your monthly sales with the first month of that year so this is how you can simply write these queries using the windows lag function and do monthly comparisons of data in these three different scenarios i hope that you found this video useful if you did then please do not forget to subscribe to our youtube channel thanks a lot for watching bye bye